Welcome back everyone. In the last module, we discussed a very crucial aspect of financial literacy. To encourage youth to start their own enterprises, loans are provided by several government schemes. Some such schemes are Kormoshathi Prokolpo. West Bengal Kormoshathi Prokolpo Scheme 2020 provides financial assistance and helps enthusiasts intending or prospective entrepreneurs to start their own business as a self-employed youth who will become an employer in the upcoming days and generate more employment. One lakh youth gets a loan up to two lakh rupees under the scheme. Kaushal Vikas Yojana Bihar government provides loan schemes for young women and all youths under the Kaushal Vikas Yojana scheme. They get 10 lakh rupees as loan of which 5 lakh rupees is given as a subsidy to start the business while the balance 5 lakh rupees has to be returned in 7 years from the start of the business. All youth can avail loans from other departments too such as MSME, Minority Department, Bangla Shri Schemes, etc. The terms and conditions of these loans are tweaked every year. Detailed information is available online. Gatidhara. This is a scheme of the Government of West Bengal administered by Transport Department of Employment of Registered Unemployed Youth of the State. The aim of this scheme is to encourage commercial transport business among the youth of the West Bengal. This is for youth whose family income is less than 25,000 rupees per month. The Labour Department selects the candidates from the application and the scheme is implemented by the Transport Department. It encourages unemployed youth to start the ECAP and other transport services. The recipient of the scheme gets 1 lakh rupees subsidy from the government and the rest of the amount as loan to purchase the commercial vehicle. The loan is granted by selected agencies after the subsidy is granted. Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana This loan is for vendors, traders, shopkeepers and other service activities. Loans are also given for tractors and transport vehicles to be used for commercial purposes. This scheme is also available for women. They can avail of this scheme to start their own business without any collateral. There are government loans for young adolescents, similar to banks, to help their education. This is available for your higher education after class 10 and includes vocational training. This is apart from the grants by the state government encouraging students, including girls, to continue with their education after class 10 and not going for early marriage. One such very helpful scheme is the student credit card scheme. Student credit card. This is an innovative scheme for the students of West Bengal and Bihar to enable them pursue education without having any financial constraints. This scheme is designed to support the students pursuing secondary, higher secondary, madrasa, undergraduate and postgraduate studies including professional degree and other equivalent courses in any school, madrasa, college, university and other affiliated institutes within and outside India. Students studying in various coaching institutions for appearing in different competitive examinations like engineering, medical, laws, IAS, IPS, WBCS, etc. can also avail the loan under the scheme. A student domiciled in West Bengal or Bihar for 10 years can obtain a maximum loan of 10 lakh rupees at 4% per annum simple interest from the State Cooperative Bank and its affiliated Central Cooperative Banks and District Central Cooperative Banks and public or private sector banks. It is to be repaid in 15 years. Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana is an initiative of the Government of India which aims at providing affordable housing to the urban poor by the end of 2020. The scheme was first launched on 1st June 2015. The interest rate for the PMAY scheme starts at 6.50% per annum 
and can be availed for tenure of up to 20 years. On one of the pages of the pamphlet, Priyan saw a picture of a card that looks like an ATM card. But after reading what was written above, she understood that it's called a credit card. She then read the details about a credit card. Banks and other financial institutions also offer credit cards to their customers. Only persons above 18 years of age can get a credit card. Banks and financial institutes first see the amount the customer has in the bank and what is their regular income source. Fixed deposits in the banks are also taken into consideration. After a lot of evaluation, a credit card is issued to a customer by the bank. But Priya wondered how it is different from the card that she has. She saw a box where the information about the uses of credit card was mentioned. Credit cards allow you to borrow money from the card issuer up to a certain limit in order to purchase items or withdraw cash. It is an unsecured loan. You have to pay back the amount within a specified time. If you do not pay back the amount on time, the interest which is charged for non-payment is very high. It is even higher than the rate of a money lender. Some banks charge as high as 3.49% per month. Credit card issuers give you time to pay back in installments, but remember that interest is piling up. As Priya was reading the pamphlet, her uncle Bikash walked in and asked her what she was reading. When Priya mentioned about credit cards, Bikash got a little worried and said, Listen to me very carefully, Priya. Credit cards have to be used very judiciously. It is like a loan with extremely high interest. So it should be a last resort for all. Having a credit card means you are tempted to spend future money, that is money which you may earn in the future. Interests pile up very soon and it becomes a burden. Banks are very strict about collecting the outstanding payment. You have to avail credit cards very carefully. The cards are linked to your Aadhaar card, so banks have all your details. Banks will send people to your home and other places to collect the outstanding money. So be very careful. The idea is that you have to budget your spending within your means. Using an ATM card and debit card ensures that you spend money which you have in your account, so it is safe. Thank you for explaining this, uncle. It sounds like credit cards are very risky and we should avoid taking such risks. Uncle, I have another question. Is it okay to borrow money from a friend? Borrowing means you have to return whatever you have taken to the person you have borrowed from. So, we should try not to borrow unless we are sure we can pay it back or unless there is an absolute emergency. In other words, we should borrow responsibly as it is our duty to repay the loans and if we fail to do so, it may lead to problems. So if you borrow from friends and fail to pay, it can cause trouble and spoil your friendship and also be a shameful situation for you and your family. You're right, uncle. I would never like to get in any such situation. Thank you. Priya sits down with her family for dinner and tells her father about the meeting with Mr. Mishra and shows the pamphlets to him. After thinking for some time, Mr. Biswa says, Okay, Priya, thank you. I think it is better to take the loan from the bank. Let us go to the bank tomorrow along with the necessary documents. Next morning, Mr. Biswas and Priya go to the bank to meet Mr. Mishra and complete all the formalities required for taking a loan. So, this is how Priya helped her father, Mr. Biswas, apply for a loan. Now, let me give you all a few examples and then you must tell me what the person in the situation should do. You can use yes and no answers. Uday has applied for a personal loan of 25,000 rupees in order to register for an online course in data analysis. As soon as the loan is approved and he receives the money, he plans to buy a video game of his choice. Should he do this? No. Ragini has applied for and received the first portion of education loan in her account from the bank. She plans to spend some of the money for new clothes and some shoes 
which she can wear to college. Should she do this? No again. Mr. Das has applied for a loan under PMMY and it has been approved. Once he receives the money, his wife suggests that he takes the family for a long holiday to Darjeeling. What should he do? Should he go? No, no, no. You may view the following videos to understand the concepts better. In all the above examples, don't you think something is improper? While the loan is taken for a specific reason, on receiving the same, the borrower is dreaming about fulfilling his desires. You might recall the needs versus wants topic that we studied earlier. The loan is taken to meet a need, but once the money is at hand, the borrower is trying to fulfill his wants. Therefore, to avoid getting trapped in such a situation, it is important that we follow these rules. First of all, money should be borrowed with a specific need. Money should be borrowed and utilized for income generating activities only. Banks encourage you to borrow. You should calculate minutely before borrowing. You should be able to pay back on time what you borrow. Remember, if you can't pay back to the bank on time, they will take back the assets pledged to them and sell it and recover the money. Unsecured loans have a very high interest rate. So that should be the last option. If you pay back to the bank on time, going forward, you can again apply for a loan since you will have a history of being a good borrower and therefore of less risk to the bank.